Hey there, Fashtus here. I'm going to do a quick tutorial on moving NPCs within the kit. Uh, this is going to be also a bit of a guide because um, the codes, which I'll, I'll uh, add to the comments and put on the website, can be used by anyone. It just shows you a little bit on how you can extend a, a kit class to do extra functions. Um, so you don't necessarily need the behavior trees to use this sort of code. It just makes it a bit easier. Now, by default, our NPCs in the kit can't move, they just sit there. But now, with this extra code, we have an NPC that can wander around. If I can catch up to him, we can uh, still use his menus, and we can still do quests and go shopping. He doesn't stop because movement is server authoritative and the pop-up windows are on the client. The server has no idea that someone's talked to him. So it isn't a perfect system, but if you like moving NPCs, it does work. So we'll have a look at an existing NPC, and they're based off an NPC entity script. Now, this script inherits from other scripts, uh, which have a bunch of virtual properties and methods in them, which this script then instantiates and other scripts who want to do things like move and whatever you interrogate those properties and one of the properties is can move uh, an entity NPC entity script is hard coded to return false to that request so any other script a uh, kit script that says can you move as first line of its movement code gets a false callback and then abandons all the rest of the code so this NPC entity can never go anywhere but what we can do is um, we can code our own extended NPC Entity script, which if we have a look, is fairly simple. We've just inherited from NPC Entity, called it Extended NPC Entity. Uh, important to remember that the script name has to be the same as the public class within it, so that um, we can attach it to a game object. And we're now overriding uh, something which has been overriding already within NPC Entity. Can move is now true get a movement speed, it returns a speed, we can sprint, we can crouch, we can crawl. There's more functions you can override but this is the bare minimum that you need. Uh, and this allows our NPCs to move. If anything requests it, they say yep you can move, which is our first step. Now we're going to want to replace NPC entity with extended NPC entity, so the best way of doing it is just dump in extended one onto your, uh, your NPC and then we just need to make sure all the properties are the same. We'll copy our properties across. Uh, this is a demo. So this thing's like element um, element container and uh, quest indicator container and the NPC start dialog. Uh, not much else in there. The other thing we're going to want to change is by default movement secure is not secure but we kind of want the server to authoritative over that because this is now a server driven NPC and we're finished with our NPC entity script so we'll remove it. You'll notice it's just put a little minus sign here this is because we're editing outside of a prefab. Ideally you'd want to duplicate this NPC go into the prefab you know copy add this extended NPC make sure the property is the same and then literally delete the script. Uh, this will work fine but it's just a bit messy. This is great, we now have an NPC entity that says yes I can move and he's not going to go anywhere because he has no agents, nevmesh agents or any other methods to move. Now we're going to need about four or five scripts to do this but a nice thing about this is we want the nevmesh entity movement script which is a kit script. If we add that it'll add it all three of these ones that we need. Uh, we don't really need to change any of these properties unless you've got anything really weird with your speeds and, and other nav mesh controls here. So extended NPC scripts been changed, we've got a nav mesh agent, we've got a transform that makes sure that the uh, server and clients remain in sync and we have an entity script which the kit uses. Uh, that's all very nice but we also the last thing we want to change is a grid visibility checker script now this uh, I'm not 100 percent certain about this but the grid visibility is, is essentially because it's a static NPC it basically just determines whether it's within a grid and um, can be seen we kinda don't want that 
again, and this we're in the prefab, what we do want is a light net lib visibility checker. And now we should have an NPC that says that it can move, has the nav mesh agents to move and the nav mesh entity, and has a visibility checker to determine whether it can be seen. Um, so we'll save that and we'll just go back to our init and we'll make sure that it works. We should have two NPCs wandering around now. Ah, now of course we won't have two NPCs wandering around now. What we do have, my, my mistake, what we do have is an NPC that can move but he ain't gonna go anywhere. He's completely capable of moving in this point but no one's told him to go anywhere. So if we check, uh, we'll have a look at the. Um, now we're looking at the add-on. We'll check some add-on code. And the functions that you'll be most interested in, if you want to write your own script to move these guys, you can just add another script to the game object. And the function you're interested in is we've got extended NPC entity. Uh, find grounded position, it's very useful. It takes a vector 3. It looks in a direction up and down within a certain range and it returns a destination vector 3 on the terrain so if I say I want to move 20 feet to the left with an NPC that might not necessarily be on the ground if it's near a hill this will ensure that it is another uh, entity function stop move is quite useful this tells the NPC to stop point click movement and then a vector 3 is the method you'll be using to send the NPC places this deals with all your server client issues and lastly to find out where or when if we've actually gotten to the location uh, some of the functions don't work that work with monster entities and things so what I've used here is we take the object that the scripts attached to take its transform take its position and take a distance between that and the destination we said we were going to and just find out if that is within a destination reached threshold if you are within that threshold you've got there and you do whatever you need to do so as I said you could add a game object that you know, you know grabs the um, extended NPC entity component and then does a bunch of stuff to it uh, but because we have a really cool behavior tree add-on that everyone should have um, we'll add a behavior tree into that now the behavior design or the behavior um, tree add-on of mine I now have a new example called NPC Wonder. it is really basic uh, all it does checks to see we're on the server we don't want to tell it to do anything if we're not and then it uses one of the new tasks NPC Wonder randomly and then waits there's two new tasks NPC move to vector and NPC Wonder randomly both of these assume uh, an enhanced or extended NPC entity script everything else really expects a monster uh, entity I haven't really updated anything other than these two uh, the, 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 the NPCs can't attack they can't do much else um, if you find that you need some of these scripts for an uh, um, NPC entity let me know and I can update some more things like get a patrol point would work because that just returns a vector 3 from a list of vector 3's next one in the list and then you could grab that and then use move to vector to go somewhere uh, so we've added our method of telling the NPC to go somewhere and our last step is to change restart when complete which is needed otherwise as you know these scripts only run once so we have our NPC that can move we have something telling our NPC to move we'll go back to a knit and we'll see if it moves. It hasn't the last three times I tried to do this video. And then someone called me on the phone the fourth time. Yeah. Alright. So there we are, they're moving. They obviously tried to go to the same location. Um, as I said, there's room for improvement in some of these actions, but we now have two NPCs wandering around, and we should be able to talk to them. I think they're probably going to have... Oh, of course, they're going to have the 
I think they're the same text for both of them. Yeah, same menus. And that's basically it. So I'll add the code for that extension, extended NPC entity, in the script uh, in the comments below. Um, if anyone's using this, if you need any assistance with it, let me know. Um, and if you want any extra scripts to make to help out the NPCs, I think uh, tacking in that might be a little bit complicated. You might have to sort of really get into that yourself. But uh, the rest of it, at least you can move them around, and that's pretty cool. All right. Have a good one. We'll talk later.